Okay, so what I'm working on today is I'm going to I'm going to make some mark making. This is a cording that I got at the um, Goodwill, and I've just glued it down to a piece of cardboard. I've used the pins to hold it down while it was drying, so it's just glued with Elmer's glue to a piece of cardboard. And I'm going to pull out the pins and use that to try and make some marks. It's been drying overnight, so it should be thoroughly. It is thoroughly dry. I'm doing a voiceover here because, of course, my audio is messing up. The next thing I'm going to use, this is a toy I found at the dollar store, and it's just like a slinky thing, plastic, and you pull it back and forth. But the neat thing is you can make it uniform or you can make it different shapes. And the last thing I've got here are these stickers that I found. They're dimensional stickers. And um, they're not, all this stuff is $1.25, so it's not very much. I'm going to glue these down. I'm going to pull them off the board they're on and glue them down to some cereal cardboard and uh, see what kind of marks they're going to make for us. Okay, as you can see, the voice is going in and out again. I'm just taking these and I'm going to just paste them down. I'm going to stick them down to pieces of cardboard. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to make like a little tile thing. Um, and then I will come back to you when we get, the voice will come back when we get to uh, working on printing them and see how they work. I'm just going to use a couple in, on each little piece of card so I can get an idea of how they work before I decide a design on them. in between them. I want them to look like tiles if they will stamp at all. I don't know if they're even going to do it at all, but we'll see. They're cheap as chips, so... Hit six on this one, and this will be our test plate. How about that? Okay. So, they seem to be sticking down pretty well. Maybe we use a couple from this one, too. I can go buy another one if I have to. It's only a dollar. really would make more sense to wait to see if they work before I do this, but these are a little bit deeper than those, so one might work where the other wouldn't have. kind of cool looking and I can see how you can use these to make like a stone wall look but I'm planning on using them in my journal and probably for like on the cover of the journal they would be really nice because these look metallic all right so we have two plates done Let's just do some quick printing with, I don't know, let's use this color. Now on one side, I'm going to just push them in. I need the whole Start with these, just push it in, pull it up. Now, of course, this is the first time they're printed, so nothing ever does right for me the first time. 
And then let's try this thing. All right, now over here, we're going to try and print it the opposite way. By sticking it onto the, the other gel plate that's got paint on it already. Doing it like we would a normal stamp. Ah, I moved it. No, that's not going to be so good. But we can see if it would work if you did it right. Which I just didn't do it right. I, what I need to do is put um, tape on the back. All right, we're going to get an idea of what's going to happen. We'll probably do it more than once. But I still want to do that. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh. It does work. Look at the stamps. Now see how you can take a bunch of these and make like a stone wall look and oh let's do them again. The second time is always better. If I knew where my tape was, I would put a tape back on them. But since I was just reorganizing, which usually means there's gonna be things I don't know where they are anymore. I don't know where my tape went. But anyhow, let's redo it. But let's put some let's put a dark color on there. We'll just mix the colors. Put a little black on it. So I can see it a little better what we're getting. Alright. I think I like it better when it's stamped into it. But let's take this and just pull it out in, instead of pulling it out even, just pull out little sections of it. Yeah, so it makes an uneven line. All right, let's just do this half. And then let's stamp into the top. it again. Ah. And my circle. Oh, right here. All right, let's see what we got. And this was like in a package, a giant package of this kind of cording, that satin cord that I got at, um, I think it was, it was Goodwill, yeah, it was Goodwill, and a package of a bunch of other stuff, too. But I, I don't have any of that cording, and I used to use it for kumayima, oh, I can't even say it anymore. I used to use it for braiding, for making my jewelry, but I don't do that anymore. I have a little bit, but okay. So I'm going to try and zoom down so you can see what this is doing, and I'll move it around. See, the stamps are doing nice impressions. These really are going to work. This cording, I, and, and think about it, you can, you can make any kind of design you want. I just was going for simple. But look how nice that cording looks. And it's just Elmer's glued to a piece of cardboard. You can make paisley, you can make all kinds of designs with this cording. And last but not least, our funny little striper. If you bring it up so you can see. Isn't that interesting? And you can pull it into different shapes. 
to make different stripes, and it's just a children's toy. Well, that was fun. I'm going to work some more with this. I'm going to make a couple more of these boards and see what I can do with it. But thank you very much for viewing my quickie video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Please put a like if you like it because that counts towards my algorithm for people to like my videos. So if you, if you like them, then eBay is going to show them to other people and that really helps me out. So thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you have a lovely, lovely day.